Yo, yo, Smallmouth Crush. Hey, this is part two of my 2018 season in review. If you haven't seen part one, I'm going to link it in the description below. But we're starting out June, July, right in the heat of tournament season. And we're going to carry it all the way through to the end of the season until 2019. And I'll talk to you at the end of the videos. I'm just trying to get, you know, I'm going to have anywhere between 15 and 20 pounds is what I feel. So 15 is on the low end. You know, 15 ain't going to do much. Uh, 20 would be nice. We'll be pleasantly surprised with that, but I mean, who knows? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This fish right here was one of my key fishes, just under four pounds, so I need him. That's going to get me to about 17. Now this is pretty cool. There was actually a boat fishing right on top of the waypoint, but he was just fan casting. He didn't know it was there. So I pulled in and I started going like at an angle away from him. So he thought I had fish in front of him. So he sped up and gave him a little bit of time to speed up, fish a little faster. And then I cut in, went right behind him, flogged it up. And that one was just under four as well. So guys, this is the uh, BFL up on Lake Champlain, and I have a FLW Costa series the following week up here as well. Here's some video highlights of practice as well as the tournament. It ain't nothing serious. does it feel to have almost 17 pounds and be in 53rd place, Travis? Oh, it feels great. So this was day two, actually, of the FLW Costa series on Lake Champlain. So it was a week after that BFL tournament that I just got done fishing and had a decent bag on day one, but I was still in the middle of the pack there. Was able to put some good fish in the boat on day two, which uh, helped me help me walk out of uh, upstate New York. This here fish is going to help. He, With he a pretty good top. check and a good past two weeks up here. And of course, all of my practice videos as well as the full day well, tournament videos. We did it on my we channel. Got a pretty good bag of fish. Man, that last area I was in for post spawn fish. There was some monster fish in there. I upgraded every single one of my fish that I had on beds. And uh, my co caught some really good ones. I just wish we had a little bit more time, but we pressed it pretty hard. We got back with three minutes to go after a pretty long and intense ride back to weigh in. Little bonus large head to go with that bag. Nice. Friday night, Friday night derby up here in the Chesapeake Bay. All right, here we are. Guess what? We got old man Leonard with us, my hey, dad. Hey. What's up? We gotta get him, bud. Yeah. We gotta get him. He's just practicing his casting right now. Yeah, you got him, bud. You're good. It's coming. Net. That's a net. Net's in the water. Right here. Yeah! Whoa, that's a four pounder. Nah. Yeah, it is. It's about three. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's bigger. Yeah! That's bigger. That's what we needed. Oh, he's gonna help. That's a six pounder. Yeah! Ho, ho, ho! Woo! Got him. Net. 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 Come on. Yes! Bam! Nice fish. Shots fired! Get under the boat! Ha <laughs> ha!
Ho, ho, ho! What? What? You didn't say. It is our third five pounder of the evening. Didn't catch it on the camera up front. Wish I did, man. It was a pretty crazy bite. I saw him come from about 10 feet away. Just threw a wake. I stopped it. And he crushed it. And I think that pretty much seals the deal for the Friday Nighter. So we are in July and tournament season is in full swing. Next stop... Oneida Lake. Yo, yo, it's Smallmouth Crush. Third stop, fourth stop, fifth stop, who knows, stop of the FLW, BFL on Oneida Lake. Let's go, we're gonna go smuggle some. All right, let me get, get in. in, get in. I got Gajo sticks in my way. <laughs> what are these, yeah, bandages? Get What's in. up? Oh, jeez. Breaking shit. Are you gonna make it or what? Yeah, we're good. Oh, you have to move. Don't worry about my legs. Two days actually, but I, I had some guide trips on Ontario. Crushed them, by the way. What are we smuggling tonight, Will? We're going to get some Chinese. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I just ate. <laughs> well, these ones you can't eat. <laughs> like literally or? Literally, oh. yeah. We got three dudes with two beds. How's that gonna work? Oh wait, tomorrow I'll be able to say that's what I caught yesterday. What are you doing looking in my truck, bro? Can I, can I look in there? <laughs> I, I probably won't steal. Bums off the street, just come up. <laughs> oh, is this our guy? No. Might be. No. I don't know how I feel about that's some Ford, random. Man. That's, that's a real truck. Watch him out. Watch him out. <laughs> You gotta hit the top first, bro. You ever, you ever been in a truck? I, I, oh shit! I have, I have stole one of these. Oh. <laughs> that man, that's nice, Travis. Yeah, it works. Yeah, you put a couple bodies in here. Right. Take away the bait. Go down on it. <laughs> no, just <laughs> say what? Like, What'd like you that. say? Not like that. <laughs> All right, so Katie Jen knee is calling. Uh, hey, what's up, babe? Hey. Hey, listen, uh -huh. I just I just wanted you to know I'm in I'm in the truck with uh, Travis from Smallmouth Crush and uh, Matt Stasiak from uh, Apollo Shield. Is this conversation being recorded? You it damn is. right it is. <laughs> <laughs> so listen. I want to see the dash cam videos. Oh man, I had way too much fun up there. Way too much fun. Time to get serious. This is actually a tough event, guys. Uh, for some reason, I could not get on the fish, and I just needed one more to do well, to make a, a check. And uh, I just couldn't get the fifth one in the boat. I lost them, though. I suck at life today. Well, I told you you're crazy if you would have said I was only going to bring in four fish. This is Lake Oneida in upstate New York, and I'm bringing in four fish? Are you kidding me? I need 10 minutes. I just need 10 minutes. Come on, Smalley, you're down there. Bite me, I got 30 seconds, and we gotta go. We're not that far. Two minutes, we'll be in. 211, 211, 12, 13, 14, 15. 212, I gotta go. Done. That's how you do it here. Thank you, Lake Oneida. You had a really good day today. Are you kidding me? Say what? What are you doing? You're asking way too many questions this morning. Oh man, look at that nasty sandwich. What time is it? Dude, peanut butter and jelly, bro. 
So, I find myself up on Lake Erie getting ready for the FLW Costa Series, stop number two. Get to hang out with my buddy from Australia, Dean, for some practice videos. See if there's some fish. All I'm doing is uh, I have my graph, I have my side image, my mapping, and then my uh, 2D here. And we just idle around until we start marking some fish. I would take five of these. No questions asked. Yeah. go not bad good hook set on that man <laughs> <laughs> thanks that's all you <laughs> he's got a real bad attitude problem today a real bad attitude problem get your ass in the boat hey, please don't make me swear right off the bat today What's going on, everybody? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Well, I almost yeah, fell watch in. it. That would have been great. I'd have laughed my ass off. So how's everybody today? Yeah, we're good. We're, we're good. good. We're ready to go. Yeah. Well, you can really turn it off for the camera when you That's want. That's right. Can't you? Wow. <laughs> wow. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, light Cecil light. Peter Mills over here. Light. Oh, light. Yeah, unbelievable. You got You should have saw him an hour ago. He looked like he was friggin' catatonic in the in the room. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Enough with it. I had a couple issues. Doubled up, big ones, couple boats around. I don't know what to do. So I have a bunch of practice videos I put together for Lake Erie. So you can see my week of practice as well as the actual tournament. Of course, of course uh, fishing with co-angler Steve, man. He's a, he's a funny dude. They always have a good time picking on each other out there. But we did get on some fish. I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. Sorry, Steve. I didn't mean to get oh. you wet here. Oh, what timing! Holy, you did that on purpose. I know you did. Oh, what an asshole! All right, they got him. It's hard to tell, huh? Oh, you yeah, all right? I got the net. You got it? Yep, yep, yep. Uh. Had a good, good day one. Unfortunately. The wind kicked up the next two days, and they canceled the event. Ended up in eighth place, and that's uh, that's where we're going to stay. I wish I'd have another shot. wish I had another day out there for this one. Well, I, I got a decent bag, but they caught them really good today. So we'll go weigh these in and see what happens. Well, back in August, I decided to head back to Wisconsin for a few days. Stopped on Lake St. Clair. Had a little quick pick pit stop for the day. Got onto a few fish. Might want to check that video out. Stud. That's a pig. That's a pig. That's a pig. Look at him. <laughs> That's a good one. That's the one we wanted. Hmm. Where did he bite? Get off the back of the pool. The old God Joe catches a five pounder. <laughs> huh? All right, what you got? Five pounder, ain't it? Yeah. A dandy. Good job. Thank you. Let him go. Let him go. Huh? Let him go nicely. Let's see the release. Get to head out fishing with my dad's sturgeon bay in August. Some good
good small mouth and a bonus walleye too. You good? Just let him. Is your drag okay? All right, you're good. Just let him. There. Oh my. Oh God. shit. Edit all this out. You're just gonna have to watch the video to figure oh, out what this bobber. was all about. So I also get my new Nitro in August, and I do a very lengthy video on how I have well, that again, boat I set up. I want to thank Doug at Bowers Marine. Uh, they did an amazing job getting this boat ready. Look at this beast, right? It's the new four-stroke, the Mercury Pro XS 250. This thing is super quiet. It has amazing hole shot. It has top and mid-range. I mean, I haven't really been able to open this boat up yet. Just idling. So I spend a lot of hours idling, looking for fish, graphing. Can, I, the noise is gone. You know what I mean? It's, it's so quiet. You feel like a king on the lake, just idling around like a boss, looking at your graphs. That motor, you don't even know it's there. When you need to make a quick turn, it's just like that. When you need to accelerate, just, you know, maybe you, you, you spot a rock pile on your side image unit and you just want to turn the boat real quick to get over there and graph it and see if there's any fish on it. I mean, I just turn the wheel, put a little gas on the, uh, you know, on the hot foot and that motor just, boom, you're there. I then head back up to the St. Lawrence River where I run into Adrian at the boat ramp. We decide to have a little, a little derby. Lawrence, but dude, hey, I got a hundred bucks. Right. And we're gonna do a little bit, a little derby, two and a half hours. What do you think? You got three dudes. I got. Okay. We, a only, half a we dude. don't even count because we drank way too much Jameson last night. Way too much. <sighs> Apparently, you didn't sleep. But, dude, this is going to be. Uh, you guys, you in that? Let's do it. All right. We're in. Let's do it. Hey. 100 bucks? 100 bucks. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Hey, I've never been here before. Never. Five fish, right? We can't lose because I only have 20 bucks. <laughs> it's easy. It's fine if your we money? win. It's hey, fine. I'll get it. If we I win, we're good. All right. right here. We're good. All right, There's you guys are going to have to head on over to that video, see how we did. That was their begging. Preparing, this is my first official day of practice for the FLW Costa Series out of Clayton, New York. We're going to get out there and see if we can find some fish early on in practice. It's all coming. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, wow. oh my God. Dude, that's oh. a good one. Get out of here! Oh, oh my God! Wow. Oh, oh, oh. wow! Look at that giant! Well, it was a fun week of practice. It really was. Hanging out with my buddies, fishing every day on Lake Ontario on the St. Lawrence River. But here it is, tournament day, and it has been a tough bite for me. I struggled here, guys. This was my first uh, Costa event in two years where I did not cash a check. The cash checking streak ended on Lake Ontario of all places. Blows my mind, but we got a BFL the following week. Hopefully, I can recover. Pan out this time, but that's the way it goes. Unfortunately, I did qualify for the championship. I finished 11th in Angler of the Year points in this series. So not the finish I I wanted by any means, but at least we get to go down to Lake Gunnersville in Alabama 
in November. All right, guys, so the FLW, the last event of the uh, FLW BFL is uh, out here on Lake Ontario, and uh, I fished the coast event. If you guys watched my previous videos, you know I didn't do so well. The bite actually picked up for me uh, for the BFL practice, and I ended up catching one of my biggest smallmouth of the year. The video doesn't do justice. This beast was just right around the seven pound mark. Yes. Well, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about what I found in practice. So we're going to go back, rig up, get ready for the meeting, and see what happens tomorrow. Day one is coming up. So tight. 27 pounds. Oh, he made his own. Are those Lulu lemon? <laughs> He's metrosexual. All right, we're getting. There's too much trash talk already. Let's go. Travis. He's a stick. There's no doubt about it. He really likes Chesapeake Bay too. <laughs> Five worth. 22 pound even puts Travis in fifth place. <laughs> That is a tie for fifth place right now at 22. Good job, Travis. Mandatory meeting, top 25. He'll be one of them. Well, okay. oh! oh! I don't know what happened. I guess I broke my freaking line. Broke my line. What is the what? Okay. Whew. Well, day two of the BFL had some ups and downs, but we managed to pull through. Ready? Ready? Yes! Bam! Do good net job, bro. Good net job. Whew. Here we go. There we go. Boom. Boom. See ya. Well, September found me back on the Chesapeake Bay getting ready for the FLW BFL Regionals. I got my practice video as well as the actual tournament video, so you might want to check those out. Talking about what you catch, bro. I caught a uh, nice one. A oh, fatty. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, bro yeah, man. Um, the missile baits. Baby D bomb on a very short drop shot leader. All oh, I call this power shotting. We're on to something now, fish. I'm not using eight pound, 10 pound test typically. It's a bait caster, soft presentation, quarter ounce weight, short leader, you see it folks. We try to find something special today. I doubt it, but we gotta give it a try. We got, I'm gonna fish uh, probably early afternoon then go get rigged up. Get so for the regionals, I have a bunch of practice videos as well as the actual tournament. And I actually get to go fishing with another YouTuber, YouTube Fishing Vids. Cornell comes with me on this day of practice. If you haven't seen this video, check it out. We got on a few fish. He got me beat, but what do you expect? He's in the front of the boat, hooking it up. Nice. Unreal, guys. Check that out. I don't know what to say. That's amazing. Yeah, it truly is. Wow. I mean. Well, after the regionals, I head down to Alabama. Here I'm fishing on, on Wheeler Lake, right below the dam, and Lake Gundersville. So I got a bunch of practice videos as well as the actual FLW championship on Lake Gundersville. So check, the, check those videos out if you get a chance. It was smooth, straight out of the box. I only made about 10 casts with this reel, and it sounds pretty bad. So what I'm gonna do, I think now would be a great time to take you out on the water and show you the first time I actually caught a fish and started using this reel. 
out there. So I get back home just in time to do some fall fishing on the Chesapeake Bay. Got a bunch of videos up on that. And then I also do a little review, some equipment review. You might want to check some of those videos out. They're pretty, pretty entertaining. It, was, it wasn't the best reel I've ever used, I'll tell you that. All right, we got one hooked up with that weird reel. It's a pig. You can hear the reel. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that stud. Whew. I'm, I'm excited about the fish caught on a Dirty Jigs football jig. But this reel, this reel is garbage. Complete garbage. We're all doing something a little different. I'm standing on my rods. Oh man. We're warming up, man. It's not that bad. It's awesome. Freaking great, honestly. I'm glad we did it. Then I head back up on the St. Lawrence River. Get to do some fishing. My buddy Will and Joe put the smack down on some late fall smallmouth. We got the Rapala fillet knife right here, bro. You want me to do a little carving? Let's go. You're out of control, man. All right, whatever. Get it over with. Do it. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but we finish out the year on the Susquehanna River, a boat recovery. Boat got stuck on the rocks, and Joe and I decided to go and try to get this thing off of there. This is actually a pretty popular video. You've probably seen it. I got some great comments from you guys. All I'm saying is I was there to film, and I'm not a professional boat recovery dude. All I'm saying. But it was an adventure. And this was the most viewed video for 2018. Alright, what an awesome season. I look forward to making more videos for you guys 
in 2019. Leave any comments and likes below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, until next time, in 2019, we'll see you guys on the water.